The story in my Balamori is, I'm in Greece, it does not seem real, I'm on another solo trip and I'm in Greece, I'm in Crete and I'm in an old town called Hania and I'm unbelievably excited. I, I, this, this solo trip feels so different to Copenhagen and I don't know if it's because Copenhagen is like similar weather to home or when I went it was anyway. Um, I don't believe there was a time difference. If there was, it was like an hour. But I don't think there was a time difference when I went. I don't feel like there was. Maybe there was. I can't remember. But like, Copenhagen was like, what, an hour, two hour flight as well. Like, I don't know. It just, this trip feels so different. I think because Greece is like very different. It's like a holiday destination and it's, it's hot. Uh, it's not actually meant to be as hot as it is this week this time of year here but I've hit lucky so the taxi driver was telling us that usually this time of year you'd be getting around 15 degrees and it's currently 22 degrees and he said on Wednesday it's going to be 26 degrees and I am just like oh good job I packed the shorts and everything but I'm in Greece I'm in Hania I'm here for four nights I'm here Monday to Friday and I'm unbelievably excited this feels so different to the Copenhagen solo trip and I don't know what it is I just feel very different and I got here checked in it was 20 minutes from the airport to here I checked in um I've just brought hand luggage I flew with Ryanair and honestly it's been great I am in the most beautiful apartment ever I'm going to give you a full tour and I will have all of the details below if you are coming to Hania and would like to book because it's absolutely stunning like it's unreal um but yeah I, ju I just love it I've just got myself a nice coffee so what happened I got here and I was like right getting the camera out ready to film and there wasn't a memory card to my name I'd left all my memory cards so I looked online to find where there was a tech shop and there was a one like 10 minute walk away but it's really hot and I do not thrive in the heat <laughs> so in any way I walked to that shop got two memory cards one for this camera I've also got a new camera as well I've got the Osmo DJI Pocket 3 which it's like this tiny little camera I've got it with us I don't know how to use it yet I need to figure it out but I'm so beyond excited um and we're gonna have a week in Crete together and I've been to the supermarket I got a bunch of stuff that I thought would be useful um because you know the thing is I'm not too fussed about going out for meals I am going to have a nice meal probably at the marina at some point and I would like to eat out in the old town probably for a lunch or something but I just got myself some granola some cucumber some banana I'll show you a little haul of what I got um but I've got like nearly all my breakfasts here because I think I'd rather have breakfast here to be honest and then I can just like crack on with my day but I can't believe them yeah this this feels so surreal I'm in fucking Greece what the hell? What is life? So when we walk in, this is what we're dealing with. You can see where I've clearly been sitting. Um, but I also have this little area as well, which is absolutely like just lovely to have a little seating area with a breakfast bar. This is all my crap. So there my, my supermarket stuff. There's this little thing here. That's the only case I brought with us. So I packed very light. There's this here. Look what the lady left us. She left us some little mini cherry chocolates, which I obviously don't think I can have. And there's a wine as well. But I just thought, how sweet is that? Like, it is so cute. Um, and then this is my little living room area. Appreciate the artwork. That's actually really beautiful, that. Um, there's a telly in here as well. We'll go through and I have a little kitchen. There was two bottles of water in the fridge as well, which I'm so grateful for. But this is my little kitchen. We've got a, got a cooker coffee machine which I was very excited to see and um, there's milks there which I wouldn't use because I do have black coffee anyway and yeah look how big the cupboards are like they are absolutely humongous um but there is a toaster a kettle and then like I think is that tea oh yeah some lemon tea lifting and a little tray in this cupboard cups mugs glasses all of your essential stuff god the cupboards are so big like i can't reach the top but great storage this is just absolutely beautiful and then this cupboard is empty and then you have your extractor fan your oven very liquid your little bin in there tea towel and then knives and forks cutlery things i would need some cooking bits and bobs some little mats and this little heat protector for the bench 
and some pots and pans and then my fridge which I haven't put anything in it yet I'm going to unpack in a second but the water is in it and then this is the bathroom look at this absolutely so there's a washing machine as well um with the washing stuff here but this is the bathroom I've got loads of towels absolutely unreal as these towels there's some blue beachy towels, some flannels, and then she's left us loads of shampoos and body washers, shower gels. There's a hairdryer, some little slippers. This is me. This is the toilet situation. Look at the shower. I've never seen a shower like that before. And then there's these jets. So I can see them being very complicated and I'll probably splash myself all out with them because look at them. So fancy, like imagine them pelting it here. You've got this bit as well. I'll figure you out later. And then we'll go through to the bedroom. We've got a little dressing area here. So handy with a mirror. My bed, look at the little chocolates on the bed, man. So cute. Um, bedside table. I've popped my jumper in here. There's an ironing board. There's an iron as well. I don't iron. My mum would love that though, she does. Spare cushions, some extra stuff storage honestly this is unreal and then the best bit is my little patio so this is my little table and chair area and uh, you'll just find me in here look at this man i cannot believe it and it's heated so it is like a perfect temperature it's unreal look at that absolutely buzzing i am i cannot believe i'm here like i feel like the luckiest person in the entire world I cannot believe I'm here. I can't believe it. Anyway, so um, you'll find me here for the next week. We'll be here. I'm just, oh, I'm so beyond excited. I have rang Sean, showing him a tour. He said it's raining at home. I was like, oh, sorry, love. Anyway, I'm going to unpack my stuff, get myself sorted, and yeah, let the holiday begin. Cheers everyone. This is everything I picked up from the supermarket. So I went with this granola. It's just like a berry one. So I thought that would do us for breakfasts in the mornings. I then also picked up an oat milk. I then got these pastries because I seen the ingredients are actually vegan and I was so buzzing. There's nothing that I can't have in the ingredients. So I picked up this one, which it looks good so that'll be like a breakfast or a lunch and then I also picked up two of the cinnamon roll ones so again a breakfast or a snack so their breakfast's done I then also picked up some barbecue mini rice cakes two bananas a big tomato two mini cucumbers I got a big hummus cheese crackers pasta, two cokes, I got a blue lemonade, a lemon fanta, a big water, a pasta sauce and I wanted to try these so I picked them up, um, giant beans in tomato sauce. So this is everything that I've picked up so I kind of intend to do a big pasta with the tomato sauce, I might even pop the beans in there or I might eat them separate. I've got the crackers which I can have with hummus, veg, tomato, cheese. Um, so yeah, I feel like I've got a good selection of food to get us through the week and I try to go relatively healthy even though I am on my holiday. So the pastries, they can be excused, you know. I've been on the grind, yeah. mm -hmm. Had some time in the pool. I've come in for needing technology for my job. I'm absolutely shit with it. This is my new little camera. Honestly, it looks tiny, but I love it it's on a little gimbal it's the osmo pocket 3 look at it i love it so much um well i think i'm gonna love it i haven't actually used it yet but i bought a little sd card but it's not it's not the right sd card so i need to go back to that shop where i was and get the right sd card um i've been in the shower i've washed my hair i've just got some heatless curls in at the minute but look at the bloody mess i've made um, I was trying to format this little SD card, but it has to be like an ultra one. I don't even know if you can see that. That's not an ultra one, so that's not going to work, but I can use that on this camera, so it's not wasted. Um, and then I have like just a bunch of my accessories, my little my little mic that came with it. So I think I'm going to get ready, go back to that shop where I got the SD card from and get another SD card. It gives us a good walk out as well. It is, what time are we on? Six. So... 
I had lunch in here obviously and then in the pool but I'm thinking on having dinner out tonight because I found a place on Happy Cow which um they serve vegan moussaka and I've never had moussaka so I would quite like it because it is a Greek Turkish traditional dish and I'd like to try it so I found a place not far so I think I'm gonna go there for tea but the first thing I'll do is walk up to that shop again and see if I can grab myself the proper SD card but I've been on the grind, yeah. mm -hmm. trying to perfect the shot, yeah. mm -hmm. but David on my back, bro, trying to see how I act, bro, friend of me's on the top, bro, yeah. listen man, I ain't perfect, <laughs> no. I've been on this road way too long, I hope it's worth it. Man, this ain't the Shem way. How am I stuck up in this circus? All this God-given talent, what's the purpose? Right, I'm ready. I've gone for these polka dot shorts. This little kind of corset style top. And these sandals, which I got from Cupshe. I'm gonna take my tote bag with us tonight because I'm carrying a few things but yeah i think the plan is to go out to get that memory card to have a walk and to go to that restaurant because i would like the vegan moussaka Ooh. jesus don't break your foot when you're on a solo trip demi because that would not be great would it i have found the place i wanted to come this is where it is the well of the turk um, and i really wanted to come here because they had the vegan moussaka which i do really fancy because i've never had moussaka before so i think that that's going to be something really nice to try while i'm here um they do have quite a few options so they've got hummus um he did say couscous with vegetables i do love a bit of couscous so i might get that on the side with the moussaka thank you so much thank you Cheers. Are you ready? I yeah, no. Can I um go for your vegan moussaka, please? Do you do like a side version of that, or is it big? You are very hungry. If you like, how big's that one? Are they both if big? If you like, that you want to start with the moussaka, and do you look after? If you more hungry, pick you the the couscous after if you want. Okay. Uh, so is that one a main dish? For one person it's like main dish. Main, yeah. Okay, I'll get that please. The flavours were melting in my mouth. Okay, after I had the most delicious moussaka, I decided to have a walk by the harbour and watch the sunset. On my way back from watching the sunset, the craziest thing happened that even now trying to tell the story, like I can't even put it into words. I walked past this alleyway and in the alleyway, I seen what looked like a group of people just loving life. They were singing, dancing, um, and it was really nice vibes. I couldn't tell initially if they were in somebody's like house in a yard or if it was a pub. So I decided to walk down the alley and I discovered it was a Irish pub. And I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. So I went and got myself a pint. And honestly, I was just intending if people watched them because they looked like they were loving it. I was just going to watch them. And then a guy called Tor from Norway invited us over. And I was like, oh my God, okay. So here I am my little nervous self with me pint went and sat down with them and uh, this is the start of how on my first night in Hania on a solo trip I ended up staying out until 3 a.m. <laughs> 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 Hello 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 Bohemian Rhapsody. It's super, super, super silly, but it was like
or non alcohol. It's water. Yeah. 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 It's nice, nice that one. one. Yeah. Yeah. Much better than that. Okay. Go in and ask hey, for it is nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do it. Are we in Belgium? No. Yeah, you, you know. Uh, we do. Uh, 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 I was walking past from the restaurant to like the hotel and I heard loads of people singing and obviously I love like live music and stuff so I kind of just walked past this bar and it was a group of people who live in Hania but they're all from different places. The lady I'm sitting next to is from Sweden and there's like a bunch of people just friends and they're just like singing and there's a karaoke night on Wednesday which they've invited us along to and I'm just like how is this life so I'm currently sitting in a bar having pints with people from all over the world there's Sweden there is a guy from Manchester there as well um or a gentleman from Manchester I should say there's a um, lady from Hungary there there's a lady from the states there this is just the most surreal thing ever like this doesn't feel real it's like plum oh, well. Romanian plum um, Romanian plum plum um Liquor? Liquor. Uh, Monica, Whoa. can you explain exactly what it is yeah, for her? Okay. Homemade plum schnapp done. But this is from my family actually, so we oh, know exactly really? that it's really well done. Wow. And so no additives inside, nothing. It's really pure schnapp and it's very famous actually in our part in Transylvania. Yeah. So and can I really say famous. one thing about it? It's so interesting. It had to be smuggled in via car in a water bottle. <laughs> it's a bit strong. <laughs> I mean, it's a bit, it's quite strong. Yes, it's strong. I'm really choked. <laughs> <laughs> it's, but it's got a nice flavour. The flavour is yeah. good. And you know, when you have one, yeah. and also second one, this is like medicine. It's really good. <laughs> It's infection 100%, you know, okay. so you clean your body. Oh, wow. It kills 100% of all known germs. No, ba no, no bacteria anymore or nothing, so it's yeah. really cleaning yeah. all the systems. So, so oh, that's God. why I need it? Expectation in this mind. Thank you, I like no. it. Not the right one. Yeah. <laughs> Just... Uh, but that's yeah, better, actually it's good. And then uh, the he yeah. said, uh, no, I, I gave him... Uh, I'm scared of that. Energy. <laughs> it, it's not so bad, it's... it's not it's not bad. Bad. You, you've made it sound awful. No, it's never. Don't, don't, don't do it. Just cut it off. Coffee, you got just... Little. And then don't say cowboy. Yes, it is, okay. It's for little. This is the right place for you. Oh, gosh. Should we get a... Let's call it. So the fort has that melody? Yeah, that yeah, it, it really does. Yeah. Yes, yeah. uh, yamas. Uh, yamas. 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 Oh my god. Oh, you took that whole thing. Yeah. Oh, that, that, yeah. Oh, that's the thing, right? No, not with this one. Okay, too late. Anyway. <laughs> And that was Sprite. It was Sprite a bit with apple juice. Yeah. And you see him, he hasn't even touched it. That's a, I wonder why. <laughs> I want another one actually. That's the only kind of Sprite I've ever tasted. Oh yeah, yeah on the work. Yeah, yeah. Me. <laughs> Homemade Sprite. <laughs> he was drinking and said, do you want to taste my Sprite? My homemade Sprite. So <laughs> let me taste. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is something that you uh, enjoy. <laughs> Actually, if I would do this, yes. half an hour later you can... It's good night, Carl. Good night, Carl. Uh, this is apple juice. Yeah, you, you're, you're in the crib. Sorry, it's was strong. It was strong. Something in this way that this is killing me. <laughs> Tonight has been an absolute fucking dream. Like, it's... 3am i've had three pints but i've just had them so leisurely i met a group of people who were literally just like singing in this pub i met the owner of the pub monica and i've just had the best first night ever did not expect to be out all this time but you know they say the nights you don't plan are the best nights and i would highly agree with that statement from tonight i've just headed back home and i'm gonna go to bed bring sean and go to bed but what a night